Eddie, Thanks born, for having me, by the yeah, way. Yeah, born you. and Thanks. raised in yeah. Chicago. Yeah. You became a hockey hero with the Hawks. Uh, you, we've seen you do Stanley Cup finals. We've seen you do the Olympics, and you get inducted to the U.S. Hockey Hall of Fame. But we also now have seen you beat cancer. Congratulations. Thank you very much. So happy, man. Yeah. Was Thank it you. hard being public about it? <laughs> Going through that? Well, I, I think, Ryan, first, initially, it's it's one of those stop you in your tracks moments yeah. that uh, you just, you don't know how you're going to react is when right. you finally get that call. And I got that call on on August the 4th at 7.07 p.m. And I was wow. watching TV and I was recovering from a surgery uh, that I, where I, they removed 14 inches of my colon and a tumor the size of my fist. And they didn't know what it was. But when you see a, on, on, the, on our cable package at home is when you see the hospital calling, that late at night, right. they just knew it was a bad, a bad call. And my wife and I were like, am I gonna answer this? And I knew it was on the other line that they were gonna tell me I had cancer. And I think when it stops you in your tracks, you think about so many things, you're, mm -hmm. you, you know, you know you're sick, you're, you feel like you've let them, so many people down. Uh, how am I gonna tell my kids? Mm -hmm. uh, what am I gonna tell the Blackhawks? Or what am I gonna tell the people that I work for? Right my family, my friends. Uh, so there's a lot of things that go on besides being sick. You almost start thinking about other things other than yourself. And mm. uh, it was uh, it was a long, it's been a long 11 months, uh, but proud to say that uh, on March 4th at 5.04 p.m., uh, I got the call and said that I was cancer free. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Oh. I just got chills with yeah. you saying that because the way you painted that, yeah is how probably everybody yeah. feels when they get that call because you kind of forget and you start thinking about every, you're a dad of four, yeah. a husband. I mean, you've got a job, you're thinking about, so how did you, how did you pull through? Faith, perseverance? Well, m my wife of almost 30 years coming up on August the 6th was the rock that yeah. was there every day. And I think the one thing that we learned a lot about and look, my folks and my brothers and obviously my kids, but my wife, Diana, um, I'm sure she had her moments yeah. when she wasn't around me, but when she was with me, she was, she was the concrete. Oh. And I'm sure she had her moments away from me where she wondered what's gonna happen. Right. You know, I know what the doctors are telling us, but you know, is he gonna be around? Is, you know, how's this gonna affect our kids? And I think the one thing that we really learned, Val, about this is how important the caretakers are of people that are going through illness because they're going through a lot as well. They may not be going through the physical toll and the illness itself, but psychologically is, is probably the greatest battle of family or an individual. And uh, if it wasn't for my wife, Diana, um, oh, you know, I, I don't know where I'd be, um, right. but the support that I had was just incredible. The Blackhawks, Rocky Wirtz, John McDonough, Jay Blanc, my great partner, the great Pat Foley, <laughs> um, just my family and friends, my kids. And probably your fans, uh, too. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, they look were it, pulling I, for I like you. to think I have a couple of fans here. No, <laughs> no, yeah. You've got a lot more than that. Yeah. But just, you know, yeah. just the, the letters, the, you know, the letters, the emails, the, the text, uh, the mass cards I got, um, it just... You know, Ryan texts me a couple of times. It just means a lot, and I think it's important for people to know out there is that, you know, sometimes you don't know what to say. That's somebody that's going through a battle, and I think just knowing there and, and letting them know how you feel takes away uh, a lot of this, you know, a lot of the pain because when you just sit there and you have enough, I had enough quiet time to last me a lifetime because mm -hmm. I didn't know what was going to happen. And sometimes you drift into oblivion when you're sitting there wondering. Because I would take chemo home with me. The people at Northwestern were absolutely incredible. Wow. I took chemo home for with me for 48 hours every other week for six months. Mm -hmm. And when you live with that, it, it just it consumes you. Yeah. And look, I had many issues and the side effects are what they are. But uh, I took that medicine to try to get rid of the poison. And uh, I was lucky enough that uh, uh, that I was able to do it. You know? Yes, yeah. well, we're so happy. I was watching the night that you, you said we beat cancer, yeah, we beat cancer. on the broadcast. You yeah. said we beat cancer yeah. because it was so many people involved yeah. and so many people yeah. supporting you. Yeah. So. The city has been great. I mean, just all the sports teams and as you mentioned, Van, uh, Val, a few of my fans that I have in this town. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, really, it was, it, was a, it was a we effort and I really believe that. And uh, like I said, my, my family, my friends, the Blackhawks, uh, I just I couldn't have done it without them and feels really good and I and I want to try to be an inspiration now to people yeah. to to help them uh, try to beat anything that they may be going through and and I appreciate you guys having me on today. Yeah, absolutely. We're really Welcome glad to have you.